Hey Finks, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finks.com and in today's video, real quick, I want to show you uh, like an exciting freelancing gig that I, uh, uh, freelancing profile that I found. Uh, so this is Marco D from uh, Brazil and you can see like Marco makes uh, $120 per hour in Brazil. So let's quickly check in, in Brazil. Um, check Brazil average income. You can see like the average income in Brazil is about uh, so 1,600 uh, USD, right? Um, yeah, so this is this is a, the average monthly income, 1,600 uh, USD. This can be done like with this hourly rate, it can be done in uh, in say uh, 10 to 12, 12, 13 hours, right? So you can, you can work so if you have a good day, you can you can make in one day uh, the average uh, monthly income in Brazil by uh, uh, so if by replicating actually what Marco did. So what is Marco actually doing? So Marco is a freelancer um, focusing on web development or back-end software engineering. So if you if you read his profile description, which is very well written by the way. Um, uh, um, by the way, in the things the freelancer course. That you can check out the things the freelancer course i will uh, we will show you how to write those like uh, great profile descriptions and other things like all other business skills uh, so you can check out the freelancer course it's in, in the description below um in this in this profile description he actually uh, explains what he's doing and he's just a web development nut right he's just uh, excited about web development he loves creating websites he has learned all the technologies that are needed and uh, like, like by creating a website you will touch all those uh, technologies and uh, and now he focuses on back end web uh, development so back end software engineer uh, back end means actually web end development uh, um, back end means like is in the in the web development space uh, he is handling the server side of the equation so in server side can be also handled by Django by the Django framework Django is a Python framework so let's have a look how the trend actually uh, compares so this is just I, th I found this interest if, if you search for Django here Django in, in red the search term on Google trend you see over the last um, seven 18 years right uh, over the last 18 years we have seen a significant increase in interest in web development so web development is still a very exciting uh, niche and uh, actually and if you if you remove Django this is even more um, exciting I think if you search for web development developer higher the interest increases drastically and it's still on an upward slope right so whereas the interest in in like learning the framework like for example Django or Python the interest declines because coders in the last couple of years so in the last two three years because coders become like I would say coders become more rare become more a scarce resource so there's there's an, a decline in some programming languages but the interest is still rising and what happens if there is a uh, um, um, if the if the if the demand actually uh, for a service increases or for for an asset increases, uh, but the supply decreases, the supply of good coders decreases, then of course the hourly rates will increase, right? And this is why you see in those industries such as uh, such as basic web development, backend development, you see such high hourly rates, right? Like uh, like one hundred twenty dollars per hour, uh, because of this, right? There's just just being a coder, uh, if you're a coder, you are a rare asset for the uh, for the world marketplace, right? And you can offer your services even just for fun, even just on the side, like this freelancer, for a high hourly rate. And this is like this is what is done by many many coders all over the world. They just focus on increasing, polishing their skills, creating great value, right? I mean, this is top rated freelancer with with 100% job success score, creating great value and something that excites them, uh, and selling like a couple of hours on the side, right? I mean, it's exciting for them. So of course, I mean, they could work something else, right? But just like make another. Uh, uh, like a, a second income stream that is uh, as large as the first income stream uh, just on the side working a couple of hours on the weekend uh, doing um, stuff that excites them right I mean this is just I mean the opportunity is so massive it is so huge it is so exciting I'm always like I'm so stunned by this freelancing space and I'm also in the things the freelancer course uh, I, we have many students actually who have quit their, their main, jo main job and just started working as freelancers and earned their own income streams that actually replicated the success I had with uh, with freelancing replicated the strategies I share in the course and um, 
yeah, just focus on value creation, focus on creating value for clients, finishing the first gigs for Finkster, and become successful, build their second income stream, right? I mean, it's just like, uh, it is such an exciting opportunity, and they can work from wherever wherever they want, right? I don't go to office, actually. I just, uh, like, I bring my kid to to, uh, to, to kindergarten and back, and uh, then I just quickly record these videos if I find something exciting, and that's it, right? I mean, I'm doing, like, the whole day, I'm working what I, what I love to do. I work from home, and uh, you can do the same. Uh, like anybody can do the same. It's just millions and millions of developers these days realize that they don't have to work. They don't have to go there, go, like go to, like drive to office. They don't have to have commute time in their life. They don't have uh, to, um, uh, to 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 adhere to bosses' deadlines, right? They have, I mean, they have new bosses' clients, right? But they can fire their clients if if they don't like their clients. They can work in whatever they want. They can work on things that excite them, right? They don't have to work on. Or projects they don't they don't enjoy right so they are they have complete freedom doing whatever they want they are independent their life satisfaction is up and it is like interesting to observe that it is only a one way route right there are no almost no freelancers going back to being employed but there are tons of employed person going the freelance route but they they never come back right because it's just so it's just a much better quality of life in my opinion uh, uh working from home being your own boss being independent and uh i mean freelancers all over the world have figured this out freelancers like marco and other freelancers so uh, if you're interested in joining this uh trend and of course check out the things the freelancer course i uh, i have a link in the description below uh, so the main like value proposition is that you can earn as you learn to code and um yeah otherwise if you are just interested in these type of gigs i share those those gigs so if i found interesting freelancing profile i share them with you uh, via this youtube channel so you can you can subscribe uh, give me a, give me a like if you are, if you are interested in these videos if you like uh, uh, those type of uh, freelancing gigs and yeah thanks a lot I I'm really appreciate your time I appreciate to have you in the community uh, thanks for everything and see you in the next video bye.